In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the is equals and is not equals operators, what I would call a symmetric pair of operators. My goal is to define one in terms of the other one. All right, in main, I'm going to declare and give values to f and g, and then make a statement if f is equal to g, and that is double equals right there. Here's my definitions for the is equals, and later the not equals. I've defined it as a non-member function and declared as a friend to the class. When I make a statement or write an expression like f is equal to g, then f is going in for the left-hand side and g going in for the right-hand side. And how do I define it? Well, if we take a look at two fractions, a over b, and we're asking the question, is that equal to c over d? Well, some people might make the false assumption that all I need to do is compare a and c and b and d. If a and c are the same and b and d are the same, then the two fractions are equal, and that's it. But that doesn't take into consideration a situation like 1 half. Is that equal to 4 eighths? They are equal, but it's not the case that a is equal to c and b is equal to d. Having the numerators being the same and the denominators being the same is not enough. So how do we do that? Well, one way to do it is simply do a cross multiplication. Compare a times d and b times c. If these are all integers, then a times d is an integer and b times c is an integer. And so I'm going to look at the left-hand side numerator times right-hand side denominator and see if that is equal to right-hand side numerator times the left-hand side denominator. Now, am I using a definition that I'm trying to create? The answer is no. This is equals is for what? Integers, because the numerator times the denominator is an integer. Numerator times denominator is an integer. So I'm looking at the is equals for integers. Let's do a trace. Here we go. So f is 9 64ths and g is 9 30 seconds. So when I call the function, then the denominator for the left-hand side is 64 and for the numerator of the right-hand side is 9, and that product is 576. Likewise, for denominator, numerator, and that on the uh, other side of the is equals, that product is 288. So I ask the question, are they equal? The answer is false, so I'm going to return false, and I've got my answer. Now let's take a look at the not equals operator. I'm going to do the very same thing, except I'm going to define not equals, and I'm going to look at not equals of integers. So again, going through the code trace, I have f and g defined to be 9 64th and 9 30 seconds. Call the function. Okay, left-hand side denominator 64, numerator 9, product 576, right-hand side denominator is 32, left-hand side numerator is 9, the product is 288. Are they not equal? The answer is true, and so I would return true, and this is true. But here's an alternative definition, and a much, much better one. I define is equals, let's go back to this, and here's our is equals definition. I'm looking at the cross multiplication of the numerators and denominators. Do I really need to go through all of that again for the not equals? The answer is no. All I have to do is return not left-hand side is equals to right-hand side, because this operator is already defined, and the not equals is exactly not is equals. So why not go ahead and use the definition that I've already created for the second one? And that's that.